At just over 21 feet long, 3,600 pounds, if you are a couple on the go that wants some features from home, I got the camper for you right here in this Coleman Light LX 1705RB. Let's check it out. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young standing inside a great coach for couples who want to get out and adventure and don't need a whole lot of space, but need something lightweight and roughly 22 feet long. Check out the 2021 Coleman Light LX 1705 RB. I am standing under the 13.5 BTU air conditioner. This is the GE. I like how they put the GEs in this year because you still get the quick cool dump if you need it. Got your controls right there to change in between quick cool and not quick cool. Good job cooling the air around you. Now, right over here on the off camp side, I'm going to start with the kitchen because with couples coaches, there's two things that you need. You need bathroom space and you need kitchen space. That's why RBs are great to look for. RB stands for rear bath, which pretty much just means the entire back of the camper is gonna be a bathroom with plenty of space. Wait till you see this one. Got the 60-40 split on the sink right here that's undermounted. Seamless pressed surface countertop right here. I got my brush nickel high rise faucet. Got a window with the solid balance and my mushroom light. I like the position of the windows that Coleman did here for these small campers because I do not have a slide in this, but if I want to get a good cross breeze going, open up that one, open up that one, open up the large panoramic over here by the booth. That's going to be a beautiful evening with the breeze coming in. Continuing on with the kitchen, I got a, a recessed two burner cooktop with the glass cover right there. Does a good job once again for couples. Now this will sleep uh, three to four comfortably. Um, but it's really for couples. Or if you're a couple with dogs and you like to be active, it's a great one for you. Because with the light LXs, you get a lot of features from home that you won't get in an entry-level camper. For example, shaker-style cabinets, solid wood cabinetry with a frosted glass inlay, the brush nickel fixtures. Look at the space that I have right there. Good spot for your plates, your dry goods, whatever. Or if you're going to use this as a hunting or in a fishing cabin, tackle boxes, grab and go bag. Boom, right there. Flush mounted graystone microwave, seven cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. And I got my panel down there, my LP and O2 detector down there. Got my furnace coming out of the cabinetry here. With that, you don't get the soft spots in the floor if your furnace is coming out of the cabinetry. Solid wood construction on the drawers here too with the full extension ball bearing drives. Plenty of space, plenty of room, especially for a couple. Got more room right there. That's a good spot for dry goods, you know, shoes. If you want to do a mud room, put your dirty shoes in there, go for it. But imagine, you just got finished cooking a camp meal. Maybe you went fishing and you cleaned up the fish and you cooked it there. Or you heated up your mocha, choca, frappa, chapala latte, and you want to sit here and talk with that loved one, disconnect from everything, and reconnect. When was the last time you got a chance to get out and do that? Really. When was the last time you got to reconnect with loved ones, sit at a booth dinette like this that has storage under the seats, reduces down, becomes a bed, can easily fit one person on here, two if you got kids, or two if you like the spoon, big spoon, little spoon, but you're looking at the sunrise or the sunset through a beautiful panoramic window. You're at the lake, the mountains, the beach, the campground, the sites, the wh wherever. You're just out and you're enjoying each other's company. That's what RVing is all about. Getting out and getting a chance to do that. I got more storage up here. Got three cabinets that open up right there. Good spot for plates, dry goods, whatever you may need. Fishing gear, hunting gear, it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to show you the bathroom last, so we're going to kind of go forward first. I got my LCD TV mounting bracket right here. If you want to mount a TV, you could. Got the cable connection and power. Got my Furion AM FM command center there with uh, USB, Bluetooth, HDMI. I like the Bluetooth, too, because if you want to play you know, your music through your phone, just Bluetooth into there. It comes out to speakers. And these uh, roof-mounted speakers actually do a pretty good job of kicking out the sound. I tell you, they're, they're pretty loud. Over here... Now, with smaller campers, especially ones like this, you do not have the separation of space, meaning there's really no privacy break in between the main sleeping area and the living area of the camper. So if you're a couple, that's fine. If you're bringing the kids, might be a little thing. But you got the jackknife sofa here. 
middle piece folds down. Got my cup holders right here. Chill and talk and reconnect and you know just chat with the loved ones. Watch the TV if I wanted to. But when it's ready to go to bed, you can either jackknife this out like that and sleep there, or this beauty is also a Murphy bed. So right there, we have the plush three inch mattress. Now this is what's known as a little trifold. So this comes out, you got a queen size mattress right there. It's plush, it's comfortable. Look how thick and fluffy that is. And I like these because they do fold up and are easy to store away. So if you want to use the jackknife sofa to sit down and chat, you could, or if you just want to leave this out and sit down and chat on it, you absolutely can. Versatility and options are what great is what's great about this type of camper. Plus you got the mirrored wards on both sides and power ports on both sides as well. Shelf storage up top. Got to plug in a reading light, charge your cell phone. Got the options right there. 2021 Coleman Light LX 1705RB. Now, let me show you the rear bath. Because that's what RBs are all about. And for couples, this is great, man. Look at the space that we have back here. The entire back wall dominated by a bathroom. Plastic bowl with the foot flush. I got a large single basin sink. Got some storage underneath. But check it out. You remember those mirrored wards we saw right up front? You got a double mirrored wardrobe right here. Now, if I'm getting ready, I'm going to go to the ball and I need to make sure I'm looking tight. Got the mirrors there. Got a mirrored medicine cabinet with the raised lips. Love that because it keeps stuff safe while in transit. But take a look at my space there. Yes, this is where you make up for the space that you would regularly have when you get a rear bath model. I mean, this is your prep room. This is where you do everything. Still solid wood construction, full extension, ball bearing drives. I got a single surround tub right here. That, so let's say you bring the dogs with you. Good spot to get in there and get the dogs cleaned off. Now I'm 6'2", so I'm a little cramped. You know, if we had a skylight in here, I'd probably have a little bit more headroom, but it's still not bad. I got my skylight with my vent and fan right there but the shower nozzle and everything right here so rear bath models are great when you need to hang your chicago bears robe yes i have three of them you can hang it right there but that's what's great about rear bath models man they're for couples they know you need the prep space that look that's your sanctuary when you're out camping that is your separation of space it's great to have so we've seen the inside of the all-new 2021 coleman light lx 1705 rb let's go check out the outside so here we are on the outside of the all-new 2021 coleman light lx 1705 rb let's start right up front you got that fiberglass going all the way over the top got my rock guard down here twin 20 pound lp tanks and because you do with the lights and the light lx's you get power tongue jack power leveling jacks just some of those features and amenities that in an entry-level camper really makes life a little bit easier when setting up here let me show you so a lot of times you'll get them that either come with it or they come prepped ready for it a great feature for coleman so if you want to spend the extra cash to have it already done you can if you want to wait for a little bit and then get it put in you have that option great feature to have anti-slam door right here on the pass-through storage which is finished off good space right here for if you want to put you know beach towels beach equipment hunting cases fishing rods this is a good space for fishing rods you got solar panels Got your 10 amp quick connects right there. Underneath, we have the sealed and enclosed underbelly. Like that feature because if you're going through some cold weather, there's your leveling jack right there. Uh, if you're going through some cold weather, that means, especially if it's heated, you won't have those tanks freeze. And let me tell you, a busted tank when going down the road is a bad day. 13 foot awning with the LED light strip right here, fold up stairs, solid grab handle got sealed safety glass all the way around this this unit and you remember on the inside we showed you the, the speakers that were mounted in the roof well these are dual zone so if you want to bluetooth in and play your music both in and out you you absolutely can you got the aluminum wheel here nitro filled tires on the dexter easy lube axle uh dexter easy lube just means well just that it's easy to lube you, they got the little connection there you just lube it up and boom good to go power port right here 
So if you want to set up a TV, you could, or if you want to charge your cell phone while you're outside. But you run that awning out, you know, you get your grill going. That's, that's just good time hanging out. That's just good couple reconnection time. Four by four sewer hose storage, spare tire mounted on the back. We got those arch ceilings with those three inch rubber nozzles. That's gonna help keep the rain and the snow off the top of this camper. And the nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you. Set up for backup camera prep as well. Come around to the off camp side if I don't kill myself. We got the 30 amp plug that is retractable. You notice, you know, could you imagine me playing double dutch? <laughs> God, be a hospital visit for sure. City water connection there. Gray tank and black tank. Plus, we got my flushes right there for the hot and cold, uh, AKA our terminations. Cable connection is right here. This is the back of the fridge. Fresh water connection. Other side of my pass through storage, the plastic clip for that. But the most important part of any camper is gonna be this panel right here. This is your info panel. This is where you go to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? For example, unloaded weight, 3,500 pounds, 3,600 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 4,800 pounds. That's where you gotta ask your specialist at Camping World or Gander, what does that mean? What's, what's the difference? Dry weight, gross vehicle weight, how much stuff are you gonna put in it? Where are you gonna take it? That's really gonna determine what that means. So what are you towing with? Where do you wanna go? Because looking at campers for insulation, size, and space, let them guide you through that journey. That's what they're there for. They're specialists at it. They can make sure that that's the right camper for you. But if you're a couple or a small family and you're looking for something roughly 22 feet long, roughly 3,600 pounds, I gotta tell you, man, this all new 2021 Coleman Light LX 1705RB is a great option to pick. Amenities, features, lightweight, no slide, still space. Just get out and see America the best way possible. This is it. If you're an active couple, go for it. But leave me some comments down below and let me know, what'd you like about this one? What'd you not like about it? Because I love hearing from you. Plus the manufacturers, we send that information back to them. And if you can, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. You want pricing and availability on this one? Click the link down at the bottom that says for pricing and availability. Click here. Boom. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope more importantly, you get a chance to come enjoy a camper because they're fun. I'll see you soon.